We are here with the Elvis Presley of the cigar industry. Is that good? Elvis are, Presley? Are you Elvis or Sinatra? Oh, um, that's a tough one. Man. That's a <laughs> tough one. Either way, thank you very much. This is a nice thing. This is Jonathan Drew. More like the RZA. This is the Mac Daddy. This is like the uh, the Tupac. Get out of here. What's the man. Up? You got an hey, you yeah, you know what? I know you got it. He's going to the airport. He's rolling right. out real quick. Right. He stopped. He's gracious enough to give us one minute for CigarFederation.com for all you Fed heads out there. And uh, brother, I know you're in a hurry. What's going on in uh, in Drew Estate? Uh, what's the latest, greatest that's coming out, man? Tell us about I all your like stuff. That Fed heads, by the way, that's cool. That's Thank you. Cool, the Fed heads. So uh, you know we got the new the, the main thing right now to check out is the new uh, the Liga Underground. You know, uh, typically I like to talk in the interviews. You know, go have a, you know more of a conversation. And I apologize, I can't miss this plane. So if there's one important thing to remember from the interview is this: is the Liga Underground. That's the cigar that you should really check out because that's really a culmination of a whole bunch of years, two and a half years, to get something that would qualify to still carry the Liga name. But also that would be, you know, a true product to Liga. And secondly, one of the other benefits is it's a much less expensive product. So it's something that guys can smoke every day as opposed to a once a week or twice a week. Liga Pravada number 9 or T52. Trust me, all that other Liga crap that you see out there, that's all fake garbage. The Liga Pravada is the real Liga Pravada. Nice. Anything else with the Liga, I don't know if it's good or bad tasting or all that stuff, but none of it is. The, the, all these years, there ain't never been a Liga. You hear what I'm saying? All of a sudden, there's 25 Ligas out there. I feel you. I don't know what all that Liga stuff is about, but the Liga Provada number 9, T52, you know, the Fed heads should stick on that Liga Undercrown right there. Nice. So what you're saying is that uh, you got to keep it real. Yeah, you know, you, you should be innovative in this business and, mm -hmm. and uh, innovate good tobacco and innovate good, good marketing practices and have ethics. That's what it's about, ethics, right? And, you know. Right on. I appreciate it. Hey, I know you got to go. Thanks for taking one minute. Quickie interview with Scar Federation, Jonathan Drew. Hey, next time You're the man. One. You kidding me right now? That was Jonathan Drew. I got to tell you, smoking this Undercrown right now, this is a good stinking cigar. Well, that stuff you said about the Liga stuff, that's true. Totally true. You can't fake it because you know what? The palate knows. The palate knows. We're here at Cigars Limited in Fresno. This is like a very legit smoking spot. Micah, the owner, totally cool cat. We just want to come and bring you on our little cigar adventures with Cigar Federation. Kyle, Chris, Alan, every place we go and we're able to go smoke, we want to bring you guys along with us to enjoy the journey. Jonathan Drew was just saying hi to me from the car. I think I'm like a Jonathan Drew groupie now. It's either good or bad. I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about that. Are you seeing this mic right now? <laughs> dude, I feel like Bob Barker right now, dude. So I'm sitting here, Gur in one hand, Mike in the other, like a freaking dummy. But the audio is good, huh?